and Merry Christmas, and welcome to another installment of Cartoon Comments. Tonight's program features a Yuletide theme with two cartoons from the prolific duo of Max and Dave Fleischer. Our first cartoon is from 1936 and is entitled Somewhere in Dreamland. Somewhere in Dreamland.
is based on Robert May's popular children's story, Rudolph the Red-Nosed Reindeer. Now, most of you are probably familiar with Johnny Marks' 1959 hit song inspired by this story and the TV special produced by Rankin Bass Productions. This special first aired in December 1962 on the CBS television network and has been repeated every year since. Rudolph the Red-Nosed Reindeer but a few years earlier, Max Fleischer directed the first film version of Rudolph. This version was produced after Paramount had taken the studio away from Max and Dave, and after the two brothers had gone their separate ways. Max was working for the Jam Handy Company at the time, a studio that specialized in industrial, educational, and commercial films. This version of Rudolph is, to the best of my knowledge, the only theatrical short produced by that company. I hope you will enjoy this, the original Rudolph the Red-Nosed Reindeer. You know, sir, and dancer, and prancer, and vixen, Comet, and Cupid, and Donner, and Blitzen, What do you recall? Rudolph the Red-Nosed Reindeer. 
The lamp wasn't burning. The glow came instead from Rudolph's red nose at the head of the bed. And then came the greatest idea in all history. So Rudolph is told of the dark and delay. The I need you tonight to lead all my dear on the rest of our flight. Dear Mommy and Daddy, I am going to help Santa. Don't worry. Rudolph, that's me. Hi, Rudolph. It's very dark here. Wonderful light, old Santa flew quickly the rest of the night. that before it was day, the very last present was given away. Hear ye, hear ye, a message for Rudolph. Yes, they found Rudolph's message. It's all over town. Hear ye, hear ye, Rudolph at the stadium. Come on, come on. to do nothing but tease him? Well, now they'd do anything only to please him. Rudolph, my boy, they'll envy you now far and near, for no greater honor can come to a deer than riding with Santa and guiding my sleigh. The number one job on the number one day. I hope you'll continue to keep us from grief. I hereby appoint you Commander-in-Chief. And Rudolph just blushed from his head to his toes until his whole fur was as red as his nose. Merry Christmas to all, and to all a good night. Then how the reindeer loved him, as they shouted out with glee. Rudolph the red-nosed reindeer, you'll go down in his story. Our next and final cartoon in this special Yuletide program stars a popular flesher character named Grampy. From December 4, 1936, here's Christmas Comes But Once a Year.
Christmas gone, but what's a year? Now it's here, now it's here, bringing lots of joy and cheer. tra la 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 So, um, how long are you going to be in the booth today? Five more minutes. Five more minutes. Okay. Well, thanks for talking to the TV party. Would you do? Would you like to say anything to the fans out there on Channel 33? Party on! Party on! That's a wrap. Thanks. Thank you. TV party at the Loring Block Party, and uh, I'm sitting here with Steve. How you doing, Steve? Okay, great. Now I've noticed you've got uh, some items on your table here called icon cards. Can you tell me a little bit about those? Sure, they're um, small works of like paintings that I've, I've diced up from my drawings and um, and other paintings. A lot of the images come from dream imagery, and they're reassembled into small small uh, cards. Right, right. So when you have your dream imagery, how do you how do you then all of a sudden r get it down onto some some paper? Do you do it right away then, or? Well, it, it just kind of rolls around for a while, and then eventually it, it comes out in my my pen and ink drawings. Right. Right. So these are pen and ink. They're beautiful, beautiful cards. And uh, is there uh, do you just sell them at different festivals in Minneapolis and St. Paul, or do you, is there some place that uh, the viewers could uh, buy these? Well. Uh, Pretty much at the festivals and whatever shows I happen to have. Uh, um, I've got a, a show of drawings over at the Prairie Star in August. It's a small coffee shop. Right, right. We did uh, TV Party brought you that South Minneapolis coffee house tour, and that was one of our coffee houses we were at. Hoo, hoo, hoo. TV Party. Dougie Fresh. Hi, what's your name? Hi, my name's Emily. Emily. We're here at Mass by Jorge. Can you tell us about some of the masks? Well, each mask was developed after years of study using a special technique that even I don't know. They seem to retain their leather very well. Yes, they do. You can leave them out in the sun and the rain for three years and they'll still re retain their color and form. Ooh, ooh. They'll soften to your face. Well, it looks like you can buy mascaras Jorge Anan in Northeast Minneapolis, as a matter of fact. 824 5th Street Northeast, Minneapolis, and they have them at the Guthrie also. Anything else you'd like to say? <laughs> Thanks. You look beautiful. How are you doing? I'm fine. I'm just here to drink. I'm going to go after some rodents. I'd like to talk about peer group pressure. Now, peer group pressure is is, is old as time itself, and um, you know, peer group pressure is what holds everything together. It holds our uh, holds all of our youth culture, our black youth culture, our military culture, our sexist culture, our racist culture, our homophobic culture. It's just the thing that holds it all together, folks. And 
and and you know it's the number one killer of people yeah. and so i mean what are you going to do without it everybody has it so yeah. i figure i want everybody in america and in europe to be wearing a my peer group pressure t-shirt all right you got that fans do what you can to support it we're going to move on to the next artesian john yes right on well thanks, thank you very much there in pj land we'll and uh, it's a pleasure uh, seeing you again yes. all right take care Party at the Loring Block Party 1994. Hey, we got a special treat for you here. We got a couple of the babes in Toyland. How y'all doing? Fine. Great. What do you want to know? What I want to know is Do you have a motorcycle? No. Oh. As soon as I get my garage built, I will. Okay. <laughs> I will. You got a house built. now, too. Built next Right, so so we're so glad that you're going to live in Minneapolis. The, all the fans, everybody, we love Minneapolis. We're glad you're going to be here. So uh, have you gone on any rides today? Uh, not these. <laughs> not these? A little scared about <laughs> little I've rinky some rides, me. yes, but not these. Nazis, right. I be stroking on. Nazis, Germany, wait a second. Uh, are you guys got a European tour coming up? Oh, uh, uh, yes, job. we're going to Europe job. next week. Great. Ireland and we're going to Israel this time. Oh, sounds fun! Sounds fun. So, uh, when is when is when is the next concert in Minneapolis? Do you know when that's going to no, be? I cannot tell. Okay, you. good. I'm sorry. How about?